Congratulations on behalf of the European for being awarded FX Broker of the Year 2013. Many thanks. We would like to thank our uh, clients, we would like to thank the subscribers of this magazine. And uh, last but not least, we would like to uh, thank all of the people who have supported us throughout the years and have enabled our company to grow where we are at the moment. Thank you very much. Experts predict that 2014 will be a good year to invest in the stock market. The Eurozone is recovering from a tough economic crisis and the dollar is performing well. With us is Dennis de Jong, UFX Markets Managing Director. The company has been awarded FX Broker of the Year 2013 and Mr. de Jong is with us to discuss the economic trends of 2014. Welcome. Hello. So the Eurozone, it seems that the Eurozone is recovering and it's a good moment to invest, but where to invest? You're absolutely correct. I mean, we've seen very positive signals from, uh, from economies around the globe. US data is showing slightly more positive momentum than the European Union. And uh, if we look at China, there seems to be a stabilization of growth around the high 7%, which is to be expected, really, because the, uh, the government of China is uh, trying to lead the economy from an from a industrialized and uh, export-led economy to more of a consumption and service-based economy. So generally the picture is, is good. However, there are also some economies from the uh, emerging market which have been called the uh, Fragile Five. Uh, we see some, uh, possibly some headwinds coming from those economies and their currencies have depreciated uh, versus the US dollar over the last weeks. Now let me answer your question in a way, uh, where to invest the money. I would say the, for a trader, uh, cash is always king, so we are not looking really at, uh, at, at uh, trying to find long-term investment objectives, but for us it's important to provide uh, liquidity, to look for markets which are volatile, uh, and to find uh, execution. Uh, because if you, if you are in a, in a market and investment, what you want to do is you want to be able to switch your investments uh, very fast, so you can uh, use opportunities which will, which will give you a higher yield, and uh, you also want to be able to execute at a low cost. So if we move to Japan, the current Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has taken really aggressive measures to expand their economy, such as to devaluate the yen. Is it too risky to invest in the Japanese economy? Well, the uh, Japanese economy, this is what really what the economy needed. Um, and let's not forget, since the mid-90s, when the asset price bubble burst in Japan, the country has been in, uh, in, in two decades of uh, recessions and deflation and uh, really the, the uh, economic incentives which through a fiscal stimulus, through monetary stimulus and through structural reforms that Mr. Abe into introduced, these were necessary for the country. However, um, we do see positive signs but however we need to be concerned because the, uh, the, the tax impacts which are going to hit the, the country in 2014 and 15 uh, OECD has said that uh, growth should be predicted to slow to about 1.5% next year and 1% this year. So what will be key to investors to re regain confidence in Japan is that the budget makes sense, that Mr. Abe can deliver on the promises that he's trying to put into economy and that uh, the consumer confidence is picking up further. And the dollar, how do you think will it perform in 2014? What will be the trend? Yes, as we've seen already this year, that uh, the dollar has appreciated already versus some emerging market uh, currencies. And uh, you, the 10-year US Treasury rate does stabilize around 3%. So we could see some, uh, some, some positive momentum for the US dollar over this year. Commodities and gold have gone down over the last year, so how will they perform over 2014? Yes, you're, you're absolutely correct. I mean, we have to need to uh, diversify between uh, gold, uh, precious metals and uh, other commodities like oil. But uh, for gold, there's a cyclical uh, measure there. And uh, at the moment, there's, uh, is the backdrop is still intact. I mean, we've got low inflation throughout the world. Uh, and demand is not, there's no, there's no short-term trigger to increase the demand in gold. Uh, regarding uh, platinum and palladium, with the economic upturn, we could see some price increases over this year. There should be an increase in demand. And um, let's not forget for the industrial metals, there's been a ban in Indonesia on exporting uh, those metals, so there also could be an, uh, an increase on the, on the price we could see over this year. Regarding oil, uh, we do see that coal is uh, the cheapest alternative to oil at the moment. However, the, the OPEC does act the, the, key, the key question with oil is always uh, what is the marginal value of the extra barrel that we can produce. And the OPEC does maintain its long-term view until about 2020 that the marginal value of, a, of producing one, a barrel of oil should be around $110 per barrel. So 
Uh, if we also look at developments regarding uh, fracking and shale gas, this will take a longer term to develop the fields and so that they, they, they can make or that they can add a valuable contribution to the supply of oil. So overall, if you had one million pounds, how would you invest them around the world in all the different markets? And how does UFX market help their clients invest the money? <laughs> this is a very personal question. And uh, I would say this way, as an experience of a hedge fund manager, I would say that uh, for me, the key, quite, the key points are uh, liquidity. I really want to move out of my investments quickly. I want to do it at low cost. And I want to trust the partners that we're working with. And this is exactly what we're trying to do at UFX Markets. We are, we are working with our clients in an STP brokerage model. We are partnering with our clients. We are friends with our clients. And clients feel it and uh, they see this. Uh, our platform it has already got 100% uh, reliability. We are offering the lowest spreads in the market. And the latency is very low. Uh, with, for execution. And uh, 2014, we'll see many interesting developments on our platform, which will enable our traders to focus even more on what to do, which is to earn money. And uh, what I can tell you on the, on the counterparty side is that we try to, to always uh, work with the best counterparties we can. The safety of our clients' funds is incredibly important. So what the client basically needs to do is, when they get our in, uh, economic information, when they get our market research, is to sit down to study and just to execute and make money. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.